what I wore this week that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy my what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. And let's get started. It's autumn, 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 and I am wearing all black this week. Just an absence of colour. As you can see, I'm wearing this black jumper with this kind of lettuce grill white detail on the cuffs and around the neckline and I put on my white bead pearls and I belted it with a narrow belt which is black and white and the pants that I am wearing are pants that I made, they're straight leg pants and I've got my white boots on. I think you've seen these white boots earlier in previous videos. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. So I'm going to introduce myself to autumn wearing black and white. Well, no, not white, well, I'm wearing black, but an accent of white in this outfit for the rest of the week is going to be obviously black with an accent of autumn. So yeah, so the bag that I'm going for this week for today is going to be this bag. You've seen this before, so it's structured, it's kind of fairy bag. And I am going to be wearing my cardigan. I love cardigan, I wore this last week as well. Um, so it's going to get a lot of wear this autumn, and I'm just going to throw it over my shoulders and wear it like a cape. It's wet today, but it's warm, it's not, it's not chilly, it's not really cold, it's just wet and damp. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to be wearing it. And I'm not going to put my sleeves in because I'm like, the edges of my sleeve. And yeah, that's how I'm going to wear this outfit. Is a sample, it's 12, so it's a it's where I kind of I've got a vision in my head and then I go and draft the pattern and then I cut it out and sew it up and see what the results are like. So what I have here is a kind of bell-shaped sleeve and it's in two different fabrics, so the main body and the bottom half of the sleeve is a single knit so it's lightweight and it's polyviscous and this satin type fabric here is 100% polyester so um, I was just playing around with this idea that I had in my head and I'm a person that's got broad shoulders and I think it may be just a little bit too much for me up here the volume but it's a, it's, it's a fluid fabric, so it's, it doesn't have much structure in this fabric. That's one of the reasons I went for this type of fabric, to go for fluid, because I have broad shoulders. And just experimenting with the shape of the sleeve, um, I'll come a bit closer. So I've put like soft, unpressed pleats within the design of the sleeve. And... I'm, I'm happy with the way the sleeve is designed and the way it's patterned, the way I've drafted the pattern for it. Um, and will I wear it? Yeah. I always enjoy wearing a lot of my samples and my 
makes even though they are experimental and even if they don't suit my body shape I just like doing that sort of thing and but would I have a collection of it in my wardrobe no highly unlikely but if I just want a change in what I'm wearing my usual kind of uniform as they say yeah um yeah it's 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 I wouldn't gravitate towards this immediately, but if I wanted to change up my look, then I would go for something like this. One of my twirls that I've kind of made up that I know that I will wear. So yeah, so I belted it in. So I've got the half tuck thing going on, which is my thing now. And I've got a little accent of color. So I've got a skin patterned belt and torso with my shoes. So that's gonna be the accent of color. They don't quite match, but it's, it's, it's a animal print, so yeah. And I'm wearing a sunray pleated skirt. And you know I love my skirts. I just love the movements of skirts, pleated skirts. It's just, yes, it's well. It's got a nice coating to this, to this particular one. So I'm gonna be coming down in a moment. Bag I'm going for is this one. I don't think you haven't seen this one before. So um, I'm putting a knot in the top of the strap so I can wear it like this. But because I got my sun ray skirt on, it just looks great. fabric and it is a polyester but it is a stretch polyester ship on just <laughs> and it's an experimental piece and with my blouse and sleeveless I've had this blouse for so many years and I do need to make another one because it's it's kind of pulling here a little bit um yeah I do need to make myself another satin shirt, sleeveless satin shirt. So like I said, it's nice and floaty and see-through and I'm wearing my silver shoes. So the outfit is, it's very streamlined and simple and basic. And I've highlighted it with an accent of silver within my necklace and also my bag, this beaded bag had for a long while, it hasn't been out of um, my bag collection for a while. So I'm going to put this cross body, messing up my hair. There we go. And let's position it towards the front so it kind of complements my jewelry at the same time. Yeah, that's cute there. And my shoes are, there's a bit of silver in, well there is silver in the beading of the bag and with the necklace and my silver shoes are a bit luminous silver. Um, but no, it's still cute, it still goes and yeah. So I'll bring you down now. Necklace and my blouse, just tuck that under there, I must better up that. Yep. And you can see the transparency in the sleeves. You can just about see it. It could be do. It could do with a little bit more transparency, really. I think I have to make this top this dress again. I like the shape and proportions. I think it is a good, good fit.
sleeves. I think you like the sleeves. I just think I need to perhaps rethink it a little bit more, I think, these sleeves. I'm not sure whether I, I'll be happier with it being a little bit more transparent because you can see where my skirt ends, hopefully. And see my skirt is, I've seen this skirt, you've seen this before. I've kind of pulled it up a little bit so that it's above my knee because if I just wriggle it down, it's below my knee and that's where I like my skirts to be. But you know, when it's fashion, isn't it? So I just like to come above my knee a little bit because I don't really have any skirts above my knee. <laughs> But I just want that proportion to be the dress to be longer than the length of the skirt so that you can see my knee please. And I'm probably gonna work on these sleeves a bit more, I think. I do like this. I do like I do like trans transparent clothing over you know other clothing. Because obviously you want that, don't you? <laughs> And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I, I really am, but not 100% happy with the sleeves, but that just needs a little bit of working on it. Or maybe choosing a different fabric that's a little bit more transparent, I don't know. Maybe shape it a little bit. But no, I'm happy. I think it's a cute outfit. And the way I've styled it, yeah, I think it's very complimentary. The first of my woolly. What's the second thing? My woolly knitwear. This is thin knitwear. I didn't make this. It's a wrap over top. Um, the wrap over cardigan, I should say. But the top I did make. It's just a simple cowl, cowl top. And what I've done is I put a tie with it, which I think looks super cute. And I'm wearing Neil Cord jeans, a belt, and my ankle boots. So yeah, another black that I'm wearing for autumn. This is the black outfit for Thursday. God, I need some days. Yeah, Thursday. Friday is almost here. And yeah, it's um, there's a hint of I don't know, maybe it's the buckler thing. Well, cowgirl-esque sort of vibe going on um, that I like. And yeah, wearing black all week. I know I've been wearing black and white a couple of weeks back, and that was quite interesting to wear that all week and then to wear all black all this week. Yeah, it, it just, I'm missing putting colour into my week's um, wardrobe. No, not necessarily. No, as long as I don't have to do this for a month. <laughs> I think I would struggle if I had to do this for a month. I really do. I may just get away with two weeks. Maybe, maybe 10 days. I'll do the two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm having fun, and that's the most important thing about fashion is to have fun. So, like I said, I teamed it up with a black tie and I've made a top and the bag I will be wearing is this one and you've seen it loads of times from one of my favourite clutches um, and I can also wear it as a handbag but I'm wearing it as a clutch so it will, it will sit there and that is what I'm wearing today. So my jeans are slightly flared towards the hemline and they are cropped. So I think they're ideal for wearing with ankle boots and my clutch. Yeah, just like hang, just like that without any straps. It's Friday and this is the last day of wearing just all black and I've got an accent of colour which is silver. So I'm wearing a black polo neck and I didn't make this. I did make this little cami which is a cow front and also this skirt which is a cotton velvet. 
working the bell bits. Oh. If you want me to do a video, I think, I think I do have a video on how to work with velvet, tips about working with velvet. If you're the sort of person who likes to work with velvet, oh, you, I take my hat off to you. It's one of the fabrics I don't particularly like working with very much because um, it, it just leaves its evidence that you've worked with velvet everywhere, doesn't it? It's just, oh, it's one of the, it's similar to working with sequins. If I had a choice between working with velvet and sequins, it would definitely be velvet. Sequins needs a health warning. <laughs> and yeah, I'll talk about sequins another time. Let's get to the outfit. So I'm wearing a black, black polo neck and a, a satin, this is a polished satin. Yes, it is polished satin. Um, I've had it a while and I've been experimenting with these straps a little bit. Um, I've got this thing about now that with some of my old bras, I just remove the straps and put them onto camisoles. Just being a bit lazy, so I don't have to make any straps. Um, but no, it's, it's also adding another dimension of the interest as well. So yeah, I think I may have to play around with these. I, I wanted double, double straps. So if I wear this again, which I'm sure I will, it may have to put straps on it. Let me just show you the back, just plain. And I'm wearing jewellery, I've got my rings on, I've got my bangles, asymmetrical earrings, and the bag that I'm going to be wearing with this one is going to be this bag. And we've seen it before, this bead bag with uh, silver and black. So that just kind of, you know, coincides with what I'm wearing with my silver and black jewellery. And it's more than likely I carry it like a torch with this strap just hanging like that. No, you can do, can't you? So I'll bring the camera down so you see my skirt. So this pencil skirt is, it has a back bent, it's just a straight pencil skirt take us towards the hemline and yeah this is how I'll be carrying my bag the, the strap just swinging like so feels comfortable and it kind of balances out my bangles as well so that is what I'm wearing for Friday Friday's tip now I'm not going to give you tips per se about outfits, it's about hairstyles. Um, there was a comment left um, from a subscriber asking me to do a hair tutorial and my hair, my hair is, I don't really pay that much attention to my hair but I suppose I do because when I have my outfits on my hair it always changes but I don't put a lot of effort into it and I think that comes back from me being a child and when I when um, my mum used to comb my hair and my sister's hair she'd always have different hairstyles for us um, with the outfits that she made for us so I think it just comes from there so it just comes naturally and also my hair speaks to me yeah it does <laughs> um, you know when I want to put it in a certain style it's like I don't think so Colleen not today and yeah so um, I really don't put that much effort in it but I can say one thing though, that if you're thinking of wanting to change the way that you dress slightly, one tip can be change your hairstyle and that will have an impact on how your outfit is looking. So if you do give that a go and give that tip a go, put that in a comment below and let me know what the outcome was because I'm sure it will boost your confidence a little bit about changing your dress style and maybe starting with your hair and you know it'd be interesting to hear what you've got to say and if you enjoy watching my what I wear during the week consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications and I will see you next time